If you're new to slider revolution, this is the fastest way to get started. It's one of the most popular slider builders in WordPress and I wanted to test it out to see if it lives up to the hype. And in this video, I'm going to walk you through slider revolution from start to finish as a total beginner. Just a heads up, slider revolution is a paid plugin, so you'll need to purchase a license before installing it. Let's start by heading over to the slider revolution website and downloading the plugin zip file to your computer. Now go to your WordPress dashboard, open the plugin section and click add new, install it and activate the plugin. Once that's done, you will land on the slider revolution dashboard. You'll notice four options. Start from a blank module, choose a pre-built template, import an existing design or explore a tour of interface. Click on new blank module. This will take you to the main editor, which is split into three main areas. At the center, you have the canvas. This is your design board. This is where you'll build your slide using layers like text, images, shapes, buttons, or even videos. You can also preview how the design looks on desktop, tablet, and mobile by switching views. At the bottom, you'll see the timeline. This is your animation control center. Each element you add, called a layer, appears as a horizontal bar here. Let's apply a background first. Click on the sidebar in the timeline. Then go to the right panel and find the background type setting. It's transparent by default, so change it to image. Select one from the media library or upload a new image if needed. You can zoom in or out using the slider at the top of the canvas. Now let's add a dark overlay over the background. Click add layer and choose shape. A shape will appear on your canvas. In the right panel, go to the size and position settings. Align the shape to the center and choose the preset size option called cover. This will stretch it across the entire slide. Now click on the animation bar. You'll now see separate timeline tracks for both the background and the overlay shape. You can drag the bars to change when each element appears or disappears. Remember a value of 1000 means one second. So use that time to your animation smoothly. Now let's start adding content. Click add layer again and choose text. You'll see a text box appear on the canvas. You can right click to delete it if needed. Let's take a fresh text layer and style it using the options on the right. Change the font, adjust the size and pick a color. To position the text, either drag it manually on the canvas or use the size and position panel for precision. You can also nudge it using your keyboard arrow keys for finer control. Zoom out fully to get a better view of the layout. Add a subheading the same way and place it just below the title. Then add a button using one of the pre-designed styles. Remember to confirm your selection by clicking the blue check mark, otherwise it won't apply. To add a link to the button, go to the right hand panel, click actions and set a simple link. This lets the button redirect visitors to another page or section. Next, go back to the timeline and apply animations. Select each text or button layer, go to the in animation settings and pick from the list. You can use fade in, slide ups or letter based transitions for a premium feel. Adjust the timing by staggering the bar slightly so elements appear one after another. Once you're happy with the layout and motion, click save at the top. Now let's set up global layers. These are elements like your logo or navigation bar that appear across every slide. To do this, go to the slide section and click global layers. Then click add layer and choose import layer. Select the current slide you just created and import all the layers from it. If the import is slowed, do it one by one for better speed. Once the layers are imported globally, go back to your original slide and delete any duplicates. Now the shared elements live in the global layer and we can focus on building our actual content. Let's add a new text layer for a product name. Style it the same way as before and position it below the global heading. Save and preview if you're unsure about spacing. Next, add an image. Shrink it using the size and position panel so it fits nicely into the layout. Then add a title just beneath the image. To duplicate this block, select both the image and the title by holding control. Then click duplicate in the top bar. Without clicking anything, reposition the copied layers using your keyboard. Change the image and update the text to match the second product. You can add borders, apply entry animations and adjust the timing so the content flows smoothly. Once done, click save and preview the result. 
If you want the image to be clickable, select it, go to actions and set a link just like you did with the button earlier. Now that your first slide is ready, you can easily create more. Go to the slides panel, click the three dot menu next to the current slide and select duplicate. This will create an exact copy of your design. Just update the image and text and you've got your next product ready. Once your slider is ready, let's embed it on a page. Open any page with Elementor or your preferred builder. Add a new container. Then in the widget panel, search for slider. Select slider revolution from the list. From the drop down, choose the slider you just created. That's it. Publish the page and preview it. Your slider is now live. And if you want to skip the manual work, Let's try a pre-built template and to be honest, the templates here are some of the best. Go back to the slider revolution dashboard and click import module from template. Browse through the premium templates, click on any one you like and hit the plus icon to install it. If it needs any additional add-ons, just install those as well. Once it's ready, click edit to open the template in the builder. You'll see the full animation setup, layers and styling already applied. You can change the images, update the text, tweak the animations, or even delete any element you don't need. It's a great way to learn how things are built and even faster to launch. And that's it, a complete beginner-friendly walkthrough of Slido Revolution. Whether you're building from scratch or customizing a template, you now have all the tools you need to create stunning animated sliders for your WordPress site with full control over every detail. Click here if you want to 3x your site speed in just one minute. Trust me, you're gonna love it. Click here and I'll see you there.